In the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter 3. Verse one. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write to, to write uh, to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not troublesome, but for you, it is safe. Paul is saying some words. He had been coming, speaking to these people severally, speaking to them. But to him, was not tired. But he wanted people to be saved. Of the dogs, of evil workers, of mutilators. The dogs are the religion. Religious people. The spirit of religion. He termed it as a dog. And said, beware of dogs. Amen. There's a spirit of religion. When we go saved, we must be separated from the spirit of religion. And we become spiritual. You allow the spirit of religion. Using the spirit of Okwaula. You know. To help you discern between right and wrong, between what is helpful and not. Like one, someone in religion, our life should be, you know, should prop, shift from where we were before and then start a spiritual journey. Because we didn't know some of the We didn't grow up in this. We were doing things our way. But now we have to change from the analog to the digital system. The digital is the spiritual one. That's what we elevate you to a powerful level. For we are the circumcision not to worship God in the, in the spirit. We, but we are the circumcision who worship God in the spirit. In the spirit. And rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. This confuses many people, including us. Our hearts are confused. We worship God in the spirit. And we rejoice we we in Christ. We we don't have a confidence in the flesh. All our strength is in the spirit. Your strength is in the spirit. It's the spirit to help you. It's to take away you never expected to be. He's the one to show you what you don't know. He's the one to show you what is significant and what's not. Things that are good and those that are bad. He to say, that is verse 4. Yeah. Yeah. He started showing what concerns the flesh. You know, Jews used to be circumcised on the eighth day. I was circumcised on the eighth day. And I'm a stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews. Wow. Concerning the law, the Pharisee. He had quite a number of characteristics the things you could boast about. We are trying to show to see what helped you. He said, if it's straight, one of the things you're going to avoid that God will help you with. Your tribe will hinder you. Hinder you. Your traditions will hinder you. Many things we grew up doing that could hold you back from seeing God, from getting to God. Meaning, if you're to be spiritual, you have to learn to sacrifice, to offer goals and things. You must learn to give up.
I don't know if you are connecting. If you are to go up, if you are you are life is going to another dimension, there are certain things, things you are, are going to give up. There are certain things you are going to lose. Some are good, some are bad. But you must learn to sacrifice. The people we, we, we compete, we compete with, with, one of the things they do mostly, they know what sacrifice means. They are good sacrifices. When they are fighting for something, they can forgo all other things. They even sacrifice their own children or why to get what they are aiming at. So Paul was trying to show us this. Salvation is the true worship of our Father, our Creator, is sacrificial. That's why salvation was started by sacrifice. A great sacrifice lies behind. So you must learn the things. You must sacrifice. God sacrifice is all. He needed something greater. But we don't know this. You too must learn to sacrifice. Apostle Paul learned to sacrifice. You know, taking the example, uh, the example Hallelujah. of Jesus. Amen. So he continues to say, let's read on. Let's read on. Let's read the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew, concerning the law, you know, was a Pharisee, he was a religious, he was a Pharisee, but he had to live his religion, as a Pharisee, he had to live the religion, and then he joined salvation, and for the spirit of God, he was so zealous persecuting the church. You know, religion, he was blameless. Jesus. This is what what you do. Do. If you are to get Jesus, you have to get this what you see as gain as a point. They are like significant to you. But they are not. For Jesus' sake, you have to give up on them. I told you, if a woman is to give birth when she's pregnant, the pregnancy may come to love some things or hate some things. If she, if she wants to get birth, she will try her best to make sure she gives up on those things that she doesn't test for. Then, so for Jesus' sake, for Jesus to manifest in your life, in extraordinary power, for him to walk with you, there are things you must give up on, and things you have to forego, much as they were like significant to you, but you have to give up on it, so that you can attain Jesus. And if you understand what I'm saying, this is not easy. You need the spirit of God to help you. To be son, the needs and wants. To be son, the needs and wants. To be son, the needs and wants. Let me translate this. Hallelujah. That's verse what? Chenkola, mm. Ganera Bidevio, Evidian Numa, mm. Edang and Kunu Kiriza, Evidim Maso, mm. Nobody Rock to Kawa Kanidwa, mm. Awari and Pedro Yokuita Kuakatunda, Okawa Gurumo Christo is. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you must learn the law of prioritizing. 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 Prio
You must learn the law of priorities. Let's look at what Paul observed here. First of all, Paul is showing us he had stuff. He has a wangwa. He had trophies. He had a couple. He had won before. But all this he counted as a loss. One thing he needed most. I want to know Christ. He wanted to know Christ. And experience his and power. And share in and, and his complete sufferings. Sometimes Verses, verses 10 and 11. He determined that what he needed most was to know Christ more than before. So okay. that he could know his suffering. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's good. I want to know him and the fellowship of his sufferings and the power of his sufferings. When he understood it, when he understood it, he would start sharing his power. After knowing him, the next thing you will experience his power. Are we together? That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fruit of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. Amen. You too, there are things you're going to die to. You're going to crucify your body. So there are things you're dying to. You die to those things. Only seeking. When you have died, and God will not use you unless you have died. I don't mean this uh, kind of death of the flesh, but to your you have your own desires. If you are to experience God's power, you have to die. Last week, we were looking at Elisha. He was working with Elisha. Elisha was working with Elisha. Elisha was a farmer before. We saw him in 2 Kings chapter 2. He was found farming. He had, his, he had stocks of oxen. He left them. He cut and subdued them. Then he started moving. I mean, he went on with Elijah. He sold to experience that power. He went deeper. But as, as moving, he was not He was not like So you too would part from some people. If you want to have life, you have to do things that are extraordinary. And then you become an extraordinary person. He always goes to this people. He was seeing something. See the same condition you are going to have. You must be pursuing something about that. So Paul, uh, Paul went to everybody and said, I'm giving up all of this. I want to know his death and his power and his sufferings and the power of his resurrection. I want to experience his power. He went deeper. He got deeper revelation. When God does not see this desire. When he sees you desire, he will reveal more to you. If you don't have desire, you will not see God's power. Paul was desired. He had desire. I was showing a teaching, teaching about the anointing of the Sunday. Class. The class. Paul says to the people, and have the zeal. He gives the secret that helps you. He was zealous. He said, I want to know this man. He is suffering. He is power. So that I can be perfected in him. His death and you too will die from what you desire so that you can attend what God created you. Why were you, why were you arrested? Why were you called? You cannot do that to yourself unless you have committed yourself deeper. 
Unless me go deeper than this. Concerning divine matters. Can you me see God deeper than this? That Get out of them. Are we together? Hello? Please. I want your faces this way. Please. Don't turn back. I don't want to miss you. We have been on in in this world full of false prophets and people that have been cheating us. Now time is you are hundred percent responsible for your success and failure. You give no excuse of anyone. So and so failed me no. Each of us this is what they were telling. They were telling Joshua. This words. He meditated in the and confessed and do them. Then you will be successful and you have your way prosperous. Amen. Amen. If you do what? If you if you do this, it appears in the Bible 1,522 times. If you do this, if you individually, in the Bible it appears 1,522 times. If you do this, so you are responsible 100%. Paul looks at this. Verse 7 and 8. Philip, you said to Rome, Yes. That's good. You can see the kind of statement he puts about that. For Christ's sake, he counted it to be filth. Double B I. You see? He counted it to be filth. So it is sand what hindered him. And he so had to let go all the things that once cherished. Considering them to be destruction to the grace of God. Right. These are the things we are going to revise. When I am away. Uh-huh. First of all, he had to, to see the things that distracted him. So the things he once cherished. Hello? Please. He had to let them go. Considering them to be destruction to the grace of God. You two have to be cherished. This is what happened to Abraham. He had a friend. 
Bakurabo na Bari ba Rukanda Bamu italuti Next era chatu kana agamba Webitu seruti nkutade Tua ukane Na ya ukane na ye Kwe ya ukane na ye When they did it God gave him his inheritance God has your inheritance God is having your inheritance Not your parents I want to tell you Not your parents he had been told to leave that family that clan. So Abraham was like that. I don't know what he said. 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 These men have hindered many people from seeing that. They have hindered men of us. 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 Anything that can hinder the grace of God upon you, you must fight it. So Paul said, I, I was a Benjamite. I had a, I had a clan. I had a tribe. As far as the region is concerned, I was a Pharisee. But all these things, I consider them to be rubbish. He gave up. They were hindering him from seeing the Lord. When this does not come into your life, people take you to wherever you want. And you have no time for God. And you have no time for God. Now what you too must know what no, hinders no, you. No, and for no, God, no, and for no, 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 when you have broken no, no, they will seek you. Amen. Everyone wants you to have to do. If you have not, they, cannot, they don't even invite you for their functions. They know you cannot help them. But when you have to do, these guys will join you. But you have to do. These guys will join you. But you have to do. Today they are pulling you back. The tribe and clan are trying to pull you back to themselves. You must know this. This is what God told me to teach you. He said, go and teach them about Philippians 3 to know what the call was like. If you are to go up, you must learn to give up. Are we together? Amen. So, Apostle Paul is number two. He discovered what he wanted. You must also discover what you want. Verse 9. Through 11. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wabulo obutu kilivu wabuli uro kukiriza kristo. Aha. Uveri katona muku kiriza. Aha. Njoke mutegele ye. Aha. Nobu inzo woku zukila kwe. Aha. Noku sechi mukwe wivu nobu nobye. That's good. Ilanga mufana na ni mukufa kwe. Yes. Buendi inza mubiona mubiona. Buendi inza mubiona mubiona. Okutuka muku zukila kwe. Okuva mubafu. That's good. So, bro. Paulo, what the God's righteousness? Not his own righteousness. What is righteousness? Is to do the right things with the right people at the right time. It's the right place. Righteousness. Please write. Don't just look at me. Even now, please. People are not used to writing. If the Bible had not been written, we would be suffering a lot. Today. Please write. Down. These are things I don't I know I tell people what I teach you here. God will use the same to open doors for you in companies. Because God knows when He opens the door for you, He can tell you to start a fellowship there, and you are the one to teach them there. That's why that door was opened for you. Paul was taken to prison in Rome. When was taken there. What had been told you is the reason he was put in prison. 
But he just saw the prison as a, a, a all these epistles we write. We really were written from prison. He was teaching people and going back to their places who had been brought as prisoners and boasted about it. I'm a prisoner of Jesus. Christ Jesus. Jesus. This Jesus. Jesus that jailed me. They weren't people. Jesus, this this Jesus, Jesus, Jesus himself. Jesus himself. To teach people from various so places so that they can go back and spread it. He was boasting about that. <laughs> Joseph was greatly helped by his being sent That's why he was connected to Pharaoh. So he dwelt with the same people that so, had come from the palace. What you think is a job here will make you get a job in the UN. Will make you get a job in the World Bank. Will make you have a job in the IMF. You are just being prepared now. But God is taking you somewhere. You are going somewhere. But what God is giving you right now will become a master kit to open you a mouth of the holes. The word of God that God gave to uh, uh, David was the key that opened for him doors. He said, this key that I've given you, when it opens the door, no one can shut it. Even if you're weak, but you have kept my word, you always be strong. Hallelujah. Amen. So this guy needed God is right. He has not his own right. And he made Christ to become his solitary pursuit. Nafuka Christo Okubanga Chesho Kacha Rubidida. Nagatango Katika Nunya Yesu and him on it. The moment it comes through for me, I'll become a different entity. There's a man that read the book of Ephesians, reading one verse and praying. He could recite it a thousand times a day. It was called Ken Hagin's. He could read the same verse a thousand times a day. Every day. One verse. I said, Oh Lord, the Lord, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father of glory, hold me and give me a spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you. That alone, he could pray a thousand times as he read the Bible. He read the New Testament and read it again and read it again and read it again. And read it again. He read and became it. While there, Jesus came himself. Not this dream. They sat yes, at a table. Jesus sat there and, he, and they started conversing. Jesus will see when you are committed to serve. And know and see when he sees you are in him, he will give himself to you and will start walking with you. Oh God. Telling you, some of us seek Jesus like we are just beeping. Someone is beeping, but they need you, but they one who badly needs you, they have been Lord enough money. And say, so let me call this person, I need him. So they speak to you until their point is made home. You too must be like that. Apostle Paul. So Apostle Paul decided yes, to make Jesus his only pursuit. He never needed anything else. That's what I normally tell people here. That one man who had three girlfriends all stuck on him saying God is telling us you are, you are our husband. God said I will give you a test. A test that will win these people over. Take them to supermarket. Then you speak to them. And tell each of them to choose what they want. You see your true wife. In the end, he did what God had told him. When they got there, he became one of the, the assorted commodities there. 
The wise of the three said, I need you instead mwezi. of these items here. You need the owner of the Before you need any possessor, must be the depression with the possessor. Let him firmly confess you, Lord, that you that you are but him. That is personal. It is personal. The moment he sees your David persistent, Yabola. that's what David did. He said, now I know. Deep goes unto deep. When he felt like he was getting discouraged, he could say, Lord, give me more thousand hands seeking you. For one who is hungry, and if he gave them all the drinks, he needs food. But one who is thirsty doesn't need food. You need to be with thirsty for God. Number three. She determined how to get it. Verse 12 to 14. Number three. You must be determined how to get him. Take a quick You must have this determination. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. You must be determined. So whatever it takes. If it takes because you have to manage of, 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 of all the other things, I'll give you a testimony here. About Ayadepo. Bishop, Bishop Ayadepo. Winners Chapel. Of Winners Chapel. Huh? Again, I'm America. When the U.S. Now again, I'm Minister or Robert. To or Robert's ministry. The late. Now again, I'm Kenneth Copeland. He went to Kenneth Copeland. Now David Tabu. He bought books. He came back with a suitcase he full of books. When he came back with a suitcase, the people looked at him at home. The wife abused him and quarreled at him. You have not brought me anything. Not even a brazier. You know, no, apart from you women here, but those other women of nagging people. out there. By name, call you Hey. And said, my wife, this case I've just brought you, I've just brought you, you is what, what contains whatever you're asking for. The woman couldn't see that. You must learn to invest in your life. Now wait, I go now you, come. Come. you have to invest in your life. If you're to reach wait, come. any level, please wait, invest in you. Commit yourself. Paul did some of things. Paul did some of the things. Siku gama anti mazo kuwewa. Mm. Oba anti mazo kutu kilizibwa. Mm. Na ye ngobelira elandi okeni chikuwa techo. Chiyanku watila kristo yesu. Ochulide. Mm -hmm. Aboru ganda. Mm. Sero oza nga mazo kukwata. Mm. Na echi muche nkola. Mm. Nga nera bile vye vile nyuma. Mm. Elanga nkunu kilize vye vile mumasu. That's good. Hallelujah. Amen. Determined how to get it. With single minded passion, with his single minded passion, okay. Apostle will forget the past and pursue the price of his call. Please write that down. It is the last. Wherever you could reach, he said, not because of attaining, but one thing I do, I forget all the past, and keep pursuing, like I'm just touching. So will you be you have that passion. You are going to forget the past and keep pursuing the price of your call. This is what he did. Never be contented with where you are. 
never, never be content. The moment you feel content, I'm like, I have everything. I need nothing more. Then God will leave you. What you need to do is to be like you've had nothing anymore. You've not known anything. So That's what he hindered Moses from getting to the They told him, strike this rock. He struck it and water came out. When he water came out, time, God, God, God told him, just speak to the same rock. He got out the rock, he got out the old, and struck again. And striking, God told him, sir, you're going now. Where? You don't want to learn new things? You are stopping here. We're taking my people nowhere. How are you, brethren? Are we together? This is what Paul, God said to Paul. I want you to hear what God told the Apostle Paul. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 26. Every time, be like Every moment, never say I don't say I know. Uh, uh, no. Be desirous of something new. Be desirous of something new. Be, be, be zealous to get a new revelation. Yes, this revelation cannot work today. Are we together? Please. Yes, a day's revelation will not work today. That's why God says, pray for your daily bread. You give us our daily bread, please. Yes, a day's revelation is outdated. Today. You need something new every day. That's what will make you upgrade. You will leave all the others. Right. Others you keep stuck on one If they told you to, to fight God is now doing something in the flesh. And so you know, remain on pancake level. A gentleman, a rich man, I won't get eternal life. He said, 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 they saw how when Jesus said, "What is impossible before is possible man." You have a limitation, and then God something 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 you couldn't do yourself. From time to time, you need to get new things from God. If God is to work, that's why they don't understand God Baba in heaven. In heaven, Baba, 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 as they get to know him, he changes his form. As they get used to that, he changes his form. As they get used to that, he keeps changing every now and then. You cannot get used to him. You cannot be familiar with God. Every time he does new things. What helped you to overcome the past one one is not what is going to help you here. Maybe you are the first three days and he tells you go and buy a brazier for so and so. This time around is what will help you. Yet what is going to do for you is much greater. And the next next tells you when he tells you go and speak to the church and say, no, 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 don't tell him your titles. Apostle Paul had to give his titles Are we together? You need to know things from time to time. Acts chapter 26 verses 12. As we wind up. Let's read. Acts chapter 26 verses 12. 
awe nari nga ngende Damasco mm. nga nino buyinza no kulagirwa kuveri bakamona wano ya musinka ne wano walo kokera this is why i got saved now wano walo kokera this is why i confess aha uh-huh. mutuntu kabaka nenda ba mu nenda ba mukubo omusano mm. gwaba muguru mm. ogusingo kwa ka kwenjuba yeah. ne guma sama sana ne guna kagamba ako guno omusana gatugeno kabira kagaka this light we going to cry for now sala yange weli olwalero this is where my prayer is based and no at admit day you know Nario kara bato musano kusinga guno gora so light that was bright and no more and show him new things we tago ko musano kula ke bitu bipya to show you new things every now and then you are not going to depend on your, your mind togena kweshika makundo woja your physical eyes amaso go bigala you need this light we taga guno musano era tugenda kusabira that's where we going to pray from this afternoon. I'm going to pray for that light. You need this light. You need this and you don't need the other. Take this. Take this. Otherwise, whatever we see, we see it as good. We see everything as good to us. Yet you don't need them. You need the light within light. You need the light within light. God had to bring light with him. That is revelation. Your greatness will be within revelation. You are going to be receiving from God. He saw the light in the, at, at midday. Okay. I saw in the way a light from heaven. Above the brightness of the sun shining around about me. Then who and them who journeyed with me. Verse 14. Mm. Yeah. Or what you want me to was in a question. Why do you persecute me? It's hard for you to kick against the gods. So you can't prevail with you. But in his religion, he had never known to Jesus. When he was in religion, he thought he was pursuing God. How many of us think you thought you were with God? You lucky you, you never belonged to religion I built Church of Uganda uh, you know, shelters I thought I was pursuing God until I got saved when Jesus picked me from there. If he had not come from me, I could not get saved. I had even shown never to live, see you. I had sworn, sincerely speaking, I could not think it was possible. But the day he came to me, he spoke to me clearly, and I saw what I hadn't seen before. Sure, I was in a satanic place. I had hated my sister, the one that sits on that wooden chair. I told her now to take me where she had confessed. You need that light within you. Light. To show you what other people cannot see but you. You are with someone here but they don't see things the same way. So he said, This is what helped him. The same light kept showing you don't need this and more. Now. You religion aside. You are trying to put away put everything aside. You now need this. It's the same light that helped him that you are going to cry for now. This is what is going to help you do. That's good. That's good. You see, 
But uh, rise and stand upon your feet. For I have appeared unto you for this purpose to make you a minister and a witness both of those things which you you have seen and all those things in which I will appear unto you. Um, you witness over what you see and there are more I'm so revealing to you. There are new things that are coming. Isaiah chapter 15 verse 4. Isaiah chapter 15 verse 4. We're going to pray now. You needed this. We're going to cry for this light. Which is going to help you know the deep secrets. You need such light. It will show you many things. That's why we need the spirit of the Lord. Is the one that does such. Yeah. 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 Did you hear that? When this light comes to you, instead of turning back, you just keep progressing every day. You keep ascending every day. But I pray for you that you fear not embracing new things. Because I have just told you the enemy of success is fear of doing new things. Isaiah says the Lord God has given the tongue of the land. The land that is a, the, the term for the lawyers. Yeah. He has given the tongue of the land. That I may know how to speak to how to speak a word to him who is weary. Every morning, he gives me no revelation to save me from time. Instead, I move from glory to glory. Instead of turning back, you'll be moving from strength to strength. Are you ready? Wait, I guess. Zabulin Samu Munya. Ah, Zabulin Samu Munya of Meka. Psalm seventy four, verse four. To Gena Kusaba. We're going to Kajawa no one at any sal. Now I've started giving you prayer directions. Mokama to Yambi, we yambi. May God help us. Mokama Gena Kura gave me to Injin. I'm going to show you many Yama Kura move. Secrets about you. Again, a Kura Gachich Kuriko. What concerns you? Again, a Kuran Gazajota and get out. It's going to show you where you couldn't see. Some of us are alive. You despise yourself. You think you can have a big What touches me most is that you're supposed to be employed. You are supposed to be the employer, a job creator. But the devil made you to be a job seeker. May God touch you and show you what you couldn't see before. I'm telling you the truth. May the Lord show you what you couldn't see before. You'll be astounded. All your greatness is in what we are looking at now. When it starts showing you what you are are and what you must do, you forget all the sorrows you went through. Nagambatia. Sabuli in Sambu when you rokuna. Ya. Avalabi Uva Urugumi Wakatimu Chivina. Nabi Chena Munya. Sam, 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 it a four from Vasu. Zabuli Chena Munyoku Rokuna. Zabuli Chena Munyoku Rokuna. Yes. But you know Muxaba Tura Munyumbayo. Eh. Banak tend it is Anga. Otio. I didn't know Muxo Muntua Manyege, we gave a mugwe. Hm. And good as again, I'm Sayuni, as it in Mutima Gwe. 
nga bayita mu kiwonvu ekya maziga bali kifule ekifule kyensulo omuntu azolyo kutuka awantu nga wakabira someone could be crying in a place abale bale bale wali okukaba when other people see tears and god reveals and god reveals to wakabira gwe no jawato mukisa where others cry from you get blessed at the same place because of revelation wa kubikulirwa nga abale bakabira as others shed tears we are also suffering them. that's where your blessing is. How many of us know Jericho was securely shut up for the children of Israel? No one could go out or come in. But when the owners came, God had kept it for them. There are many other things that God has reserved. No one knows them, but they are yours. I'm telling you the truth. I will go through the valley of Baca. He covers it with the springs. Where others cry from, you just be blessed. There. How many of us know? As other people came over, Femini was collecting more wealth instead. There were people that were famine. You know, be killed by, by famine. In the middle of the famine, he was getting richer. The famine had come because of him. Hallelujah. Amen. So, no, Rachel, we are going to pray. Let me pray for this first. Amen. I pray that God will open your eyes Amen. to give you this word of revelation. And God will give you special grace and meet you and give you the strength to be among people that will be touched by God to touch me in Jesus' name. Immaculate knock. I pray that God will give you the spirit of submission and you may understand in the name of Jesus. May God meet you job to save me in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mike Mugume you are in your singular. I pray that God will rebuke this spirit of alcoholism. Spirit of alcoholism. God rebuke in the name of Jesus. May God save you. This company. You company. still believe this company still believes God for a seed of one hundred thousand dollars. May God open a door for you. But I know what time God will open a door for you. Do you know me in Goretti, Saudi Arabia? I pray that God will protect your work. In the name of Jesus, may God be with you and give you a new job that glorify his name. In the name of Jesus. I know Mugisha. I pray that God will ignite the potential within you. In the name of Jesus. And this one, Frida Nakaziba, UK. Frida Nakaziba, UK. May God rebuke the spirit of death. The child and break the pangs of death. May God deliver from that mind of suicide. In the name of Jesus. I approach whatever God in our hands. Planting the divine. That is peace and life. In Jesus name. I pray that God will give you a new job. In the name of Jesus. May God immaculate knock. Immaculate knock. May God's light shine upon you and start receiving new revelations in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So you guys who are there, I pray that God blesses you and increase you. Thank you for following us. Thank you for being with us. And those who want to take Jesus be a personal savior, say after me right now, Jesus, yes, I now open my heart for you. Come and become the Lord of my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive you 
as my Lord from now on in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are sending your CDs, you can use the numbers you saw the screen as well the back account. Maybe with your CDs, your thanksgiving, your tithes, use the numbers you saw the screen. And you can as well keep sending your prayer requests because our intercessors are interceding for you day and night. We want to break through. We want you to get a breakthrough together with us. That's why we are praying for you. In the name of Jesus. May God raise you to become significant wherever you are. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. So have a good day. Thank you for following us. Have a good day. God bless and increase you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So to get our for those of you here, we're going to pray. In the next minutes, and cry for God's sake.